Okay, so moment of truth here. I'm gonna, this is actually cold, not even cool, cold right at this point. Okay, there it is. And you know what? I'm a dum-dum because it was an already mirrored design and I mirrored it again. <laughs> but at least it's right side up. So anyhow, um, it turned out really good except for that. I mean, there is a seam there has to be, but ha <laughs> ha, it's the story of my life. Anyhow, I'll either sell it as an oopsie at a discounted price or I'll bake it off. So uh, enjoy. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take this tumbler and I slide it in from the side that is not where these wires are at. So I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna put my taped seam towards the front and I'm gonna close this. That fought it back a little more than I would like it to, but it has something to do with the heat. So it's all good. So we're gonna let that go for 45 seconds. seems like forever when you're waiting on it. So what I do is I'm going to rotate it about a third of the way and do 45 more seconds. And then when that 45 seconds is done, I'm going to rotate it the other third of the way and I'm going to do it about 20 or so seconds. Sometimes it's 25 seconds, depends on if I get there fast enough or not, because I'm usually always doing other things. So I'm actually going to a little loose half turn so I'm going to turn this about a third of the way close it again let it go okay but the reason that the only time I wouldn't do that last 20 or 25 seconds is if I'm doing black or red because I have found that it tends to burn those or make them just look weird if you do it too long on black or red so those are the only exceptions to that last 20 seconds for me and everybody has different times and temperatures and presses and everything that works for them. I have had great success with this press and these tumblers with the settings that I use. Of course, I have different settings when I do things like um, glass or ceramic, but most of the tumblers that I do are the stainless steel and um, this one's glow in the dark, same as regular. The only ones that I do a little longer on is gonna be like a glitter one. So I'm gonna take my, I use these cheapy things. They hang on the side here. I'm going to turn this the other third of the turn. Go to that 20. But um, the glitter ones, I do them a little bit longer because if you don't do the glitter ones a little bit longer, I don't think it's as vibrant. And just a tip on glitter tumblers that you're sublimating, I would suggest strongly that you use a very dark design. Blacks are great on it. Um, I do a lot of skull ones and things like that on it. So let me uh, just turn my phone off here. Okay, and I've done my 20 seconds. It's actually a little longer, 25 seconds. So I'm gonna pull this guy out, sit him on my cooling pad that I have over here, just a silicone hot pad. I either got it from Pampered Chef or Ikea, I'm not sure. I'm gonna let that cool down until I can touch it. It might still be warm when I remove everything, but I let it cool down before I remove that paper. Some people dunk them in, um, turn off my press too. Some people dunk those in cold water to cool them down real fast. I just don't like that. I feel like it messes with the integrity of the inside with the sharp moves like that. So I don't do that. I've never had any problems. So when this is cool enough for me to touch, I'll show you what we look like. All right, so now I have the three pieces of tape on there. I might've said that already. Sorry, my boss called me in the middle of it. Pesky work. And um, I'm gonna put one big piece down here and that's gonna hold the rest down. But I know that it's gonna go where I want it to go, okay? So I'm gonna get my cradle made this out of PVC and then insulation for plumbing. So it was real easy to make a couple bucks done. So anyhow, I'm going to now take a piece of tape that probably is as long as I need, maybe longer, yep, longer. I'm just going to put it on this side that's going to go a little wee bit over the other. I'm going to put it on there tight and I'm going to then trim this off because 
I find that if it goes inside the cup, I have a little bit of residue. I can save this piece for later. And the bottom needs a little wee trim too because while I've never had the, this happen, I have seen people say, oh my goodness, that they have had trouble with yellow leaving residue on things. I have blue in case I do have to tape anything in a weird place, but I rarely use it. So anyhow, this is on here. I'm going to move this now. This is on here, and what I'm going to do then is press it up, 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 and that's going to get it attached. Then, I'm just going to take my scraper that I use for vinyl and run it along this seam. So hopefully this is a good transition here. We're going to take a little walk around my room. I just had a craft show, so I'm a little messy here at the moment. But I have the hog tumbler press. So before I turn this thing on, what I'm going to do is open this up and check fitment. Now it fits in there, so I don't need to press those ends separately or anything. And it closes real nice. It's I don't want to make this so that it's hard to close. So it's actually perfect where it's at. And I'm going to turn this thing on. I'm going to take it, it's going to be 365 for 40 seconds is what, 45 seconds is what I'm going to do mine, but I do it multiple times. So when this heats up, I'll get back with you and show you how I press my tumblers. And then when it cools down, I'll show you how I take it from there. See you in a few. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do today is show you how I take my tumbler and then what I do to press it. Um, I'm not a great videographer, but here we are. The first thing I do is make sure that my design fits on my cup. And I've trimmed all the edges off of that completely. Um, I don't want any white hanging out anywhere except, for, of course, where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to go like this just to make sure that it fits around my cup. Now, here's the other thing. See how perfect that is? I also cut my design a wee bit bigger so that I know when I trim it down a little bit, it's going to fit. So the other part of this is now I know my design is upright <laughs> because I can't tell you how many times I've done it upside down. So I do flip it over. This particular 25 ounce hog uh, from the stainless steel depot is pretty straight down to the bottom. There's not a real big curve or anything there, but I still flip them upside down because there's just enough there. You can center it if you want to. I have trouble lining it up if I do that. So I don't like how that is. I'm gonna work it a little bit here to make sure that I can get that to line up evenly. So end up being half and half. The little tiny white border. I don't really like the white at the top. So you just got to take your time and make sure. See where I'm talking about? They don't really line up perfectly right there and that's what I want to happen. So I just got to mess with it a minute. I don't know what my deal is today. Let's just start over. This one doesn't have a particular um, seam or anything. Or not seam but a place where the lid goes on it's press on lid so it doesn't screw on I don't have to worry about lining it up that way okay now we're good so what I'm gonna do is I do have a cradle I can put this in I never use it so I make sure that I sort of press and move that the whole way around the tumbler okay and now hopefully you can see what I'm doing I'm gonna bring it as tight as I can I tried pinch perfect I tried all that stuff none of that stuff works for me now, I like the yellow tape from HTV Ront. I hold this end because I'm going to pull it off there as tight as I'm pulling. And I pull this nice and tight on there. Okay, so you can see how I sort of overlap there. But make sure you don't wrinkle that up too bad or else it's a problem later. I'm going to do this three times. I have found that the clear and the blue do not stretch enough for my liking. Or at all. And they pop off if you happen to use an oven. I do not, I use a heat press, but there are things that I do in oven. So you can see I have a little gap there. We're gonna fix that in a minute. I need to do one more on this other end. So that's nice and tight. We do have some bubbles there. 